This video was brought to you by Squarespace. More about them at the end of the video. We're finally at 4K, baby. <laughs> So right now we are on our way to get the Eclipse quoted to be painted. Obviously this thing needs a paint job ASAP. It's pretty ugly. And due to our current situation, not having a shop and just, you know, our house, I don't, I don't want to paint it myself. I would, but I can't and I, I don't really want to. <laughs> I've painted two cars in my life. The first car was the RX-7, turned out okay, but that was a lot of work because the paint was like pitted. So we had to sand it down all the way to primer. And then we also painted the rail of Miata, which also was a ton of work because, um, well, it had a bunch of body work. So, so this thing would be really easy to repaint because it really doesn't need much body work. Uh, it's really like a scuffing spray, but I still don't want to do it. <laughs> We're about to pull up to the shop, the paint shop. If it saves me a lot of money, I'm gonna do the bodywork myself. So I would uh, fix all the dents, sand it up, and give it to them like that. We're about to see. Mako. America's body shop, ladies and gents. It took the guys at Mako less than 10 minutes to give me a quote. They came outside, took a look at the car, inspected all the body damage, all the paint damage it had, then talked to me about what color I wanted, whether I wanted the whole car one color or two colors, and that was it. I had my quote. I think we're about to see just how good a Mako paint shop really is. The price they gave me was just so cheap that I can't say no. I'm just gonna have them do everything. And the timing works out perfectly where I'm gonna be out of town, not being able to do YouTube, and they're gonna paint the car in a week. If you're interested, the quotes they gave me were $1,300 for a single stage paint, $1,600 for a dual stage paint, base and clear. And that included body work, so they fix all the dents, fix all the different, you know, paint issues and they paint the car. Now $1,600 may seem like a lot, but for getting a car body worked and painted, it is incredibly cheap. Most paint jobs would cost two times, three times, even four times as much as that quote. Even getting the car wrapped was going to cost over a thousand dollars more than getting the car painted at Mako. The question is, how good is it going to look and how long is it going to last? So. I came back the next day, dropped off the Eclipse, then flew back to Chicago, attended a wedding, got to catch up with some of my friends, and a week later, here we are. All right, we're about to pull up to Mako. Oh, that's definitely it. Oh my God. That was pretty good. Here she is, boys. Look at that red. Ain't it red? From here, mm, crisp, crisp, but that ain't perfect. What do you think? For 1600 bucks, it took them four business days. Send me a voice message. Let me know what you think. Yo, is that Lightning McQueen, my guy? Ciao. Nah, but for real, red Japanese cars do it best. Uh, I think it looks dope, my guy. Hey, Mr. Gingium, it's uh, Boosted John here, buddy. I'm thinking the uh, paint looks pretty good for a $1,600 paint job. I'm really liking 
really liking that finish. Uh, I think that, you know, it definitely could have been better, but for 1600 bucks and like a four business day paint job, that's gonna look real good in my rear view mirror when you bring it up here to race my Civic, buddy. <laughs> I'll see you then. Honestly though, dude, all jokes aside, I wish my Civic looked that clean. So props to you for pulling the trigger on a risky $1,600 paint job. So it looks pretty solid overall. You're a slut. Well, I mean- now. I'm recording a message. Oh, currently? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was a faulty message. Um, yeah, dude, I think that looks really good for 1600 bucks. Um, it was definitely a lot rougher when you just got it, but now it looks nice and fresh. So that's pretty hype, and I'm excited to see what comes next. You gotta judge it from a distance first. Oh, I don't <laughs> like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not bad. I just, you know, I was, yeah, yeah just, just come on out. Okay. Check it out from there. Oh, it's super red. It's very, very red. I think it looks great it from looks here. Great. I like so, it like, all red. What's gonna happen when I get closer to it? I think you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see some things. It's not too bad. I mean, it still I looks know, good from here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's like a, it's almost like pitted. You see that? Yeah. It's kind of like pitting throughout the entire thing. With peace and love, I don't think it looks any worse than the Rally Miata. <laughs> no, actually <laughs> I was going to say, I think it's about as good as the Rally Miata. This is weird. Yeah, isn't that, is a weird, I'm not even sure if I can really get it on camera. I would be very interested to know like what kind of products they use. So there you are. The Eclipse is red. It's very red. Now I had thought about doing a different color. I really actually wanted to get it like a pearl light, but I didn't want to go through the effort of getting the door jams painted or the engine bay painted. And I thought that having mismatched engine bays and door panels, I thought that was worse than going with the red. The red at least looks clean. The engine bay matches, the door panels match. From here, it looks perfect. And I bet you on camera, you can't really tell a single imperfection, but there definitely are some imperfections. I'm gonna do a little walk around the car. I'm gonna try to show you all the imperfections. As you guys saw, I got some before shots. I also might cut to some shots with my phone camera because it was easier to, to see uh, the imperfections through the phone. But let me show you. As I said, from a distance, like right here, the car looks really, really good. It's super, super glossy. It's super, super red. The paint itself turned out pretty decent. You can't notice a huge amount of orange peel from this distance. You can't really notice any body imperfections from this distance. When you get closer, there's issues with the paint and with the body. So there you go. You can definitely see <laughs> the hood kind of looks like an ocean, nice and wavy. Now I told Mako to fix a few things. There was a dent up here that I told him to fix. I told them to fix the door dings. There was also a quarter panel ding that I told them to fix. As you can tell, this front fender dent is pretty much still there. The door dings, which you can't really tell, uh, door dings are still there. You can kind of, from this distance, see the quarter panel ding. So the bodywork left something to be desired. The reflection through the camera looks pretty good. Doesn't look like there's much orange peel. There's definitely some orange peel. If I were to compare it to my two paint jobs, I would say it's definitely better than both. But there's some weird paint issue throughout this side of the car. It's really hard to capture on camera. You can kind of see it in the flashlight light. The clear coat is almost like pitted. You can't really feel it, but you can kind of see it. It almost looks uh, looks a little textured. I think Hunter and I can agree that the back of the car definitely turned out better than the front of the car. The back looks quite pretty, pretty, pretty dang good. They didn't go through the effort of taking the taillights out when they painted the car, which to me is crazy because that literally would have taken five minutes. Instead, they taped it and you can kind of see um, the tape mark like right here. They did a very good job at taping it and they did paint this part, which I was happy about. They also didn't take off the side skirts, which wouldn't have been a huge problem, but this one's already falling off. They must have taken out the front lights because this one suddenly has a broken tab. Yeah, that was definitely not like that before. And they didn't bother taping off or blocking off any of the front stuff, which come on, you could have stuck a piece of cardboard in there. It literally would have taken one minute and it would have been so much better. There's a tiny speck of rust right here. 
and they just painted right over it. But honestly, those are most of the imperfections. There are a few uh, things of sand and maybe bugs, I'm not really quite sure. In the paint up here, you can kind of see some of that. Here, you can see it right there, kind of. They didn't take the windshield wiper sprayers out, which also would have taken two seconds. These are actually broken, so you can just pull them out. I think literally the worst part of this entire car is this headlight right here. It's super wavy, super a bunch of stuff in it. Considering that this paint job was as cheap as it was, 1600 bucks, they got it done in four business days. I would say that I am satisfied. I wouldn't say I'm happy, but I would say I'm satisfied. It's slightly, slightly worse than I was expecting. This paint job served the purpose I wanted it to. I wanted the car to be red and glossy by the end of it. I wanted to be able to step outside the car after driving it and not want to throw up in my mouth. By no means a show car quality. And the big question is, will it last? Now here's a cool thing. This paint job came with a five year warranty. That warranty does not cover road chips does not cover normal wear, but it does cover things like it flaking off, it peeling, or so they say. The other thing about this paint job is that if there's enough clear coat on it, I think 90% of the issues can be fixed with a wet sand and a buff. I'm curious if they rushed the paint job and that caused some of the imperfections. When I talk to them on the phone, they give me a quote of a little bit over a week. And then when I drop the car off, at first, they said it would be done in two business days. I dropped it off on a Wednesday. They said, you can pick it up on a Friday. I didn't end up being able to pick up the car until Tuesday afternoon, which was four business days, but that was still quicker than the original time quote that they gave me. It would make sense for a business like Mako to just try to pump things out as quickly as possible. And if they would have spent a little bit more time on it, I wonder if it would have been better. But it is what it is. Yet again, for the cost and being able to go on a four day vacation and then pick up a painted car, it's pretty hard to beat. So now the car looks pretty good, but what's really bugging me what really looks ugly is all of the lights and the lighting. So I have an LED replacement for every single light bulb that is in this car. I've got headlights, I've got you know side markers, blinkers, interior, reverse lights, even license plates lights. And then in the next video, we're gonna install all of those lights and compare the difference um, before and after. Oh, and you know what else I have for you guys? I have a way for you to make your own website. And that is Squarespace. Squarespace gives its users a powerful and beautiful online platform to to create your own website. Now Squarespace has a bunch of really awesome features. Here are just a few of them. Squarespace email campaigns. You can grow and engage your audience by creating powerful email content that matches your website to your existing products. They have gorgeous customizable galleries that allow you to display videos and images in unique ways. Mobile optimization. All of your content on your website will automatically adjust so it looks good on a phone, a laptop, a TV, any device. You can set up gated members only content that allows you to generate revenue and connect with your audience in a more in depth way. Now, if you guys are interested, you can go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash gingium for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out and have a great day.